buttons and 2023 marks the 10 year anniversary of our sewing patterns. So we thought it would be fun to have a little peek inside my sewing box and take a trip down memory lane in the process. So this actual sewing box was gifted to me when I first started sewing by a group of my school friends who I still see regularly. Um, so it was, was 13 years ago that I started sewing. Um, it was a really kind gift. Obviously they knew more than I did that sewing was gonna be a big part of my life because I'd only really been sewing a few weeks when I got this as a present. And um, my friend even cross-stitched a little message inside it, which is really lovely. So let's have a look and see what we've got inside. So of course we have lots of pastel sewing tools because um, you may recognise these from our pattern instructions or our tutorials that we do on our blog and YouTube. I'm a big fan of pastel colours and we know being very colour coordinated in everything that we do. Um, I've also got, I love this, this is a, an Esme pin cushion I got from Beyond Measure, I absolutely love that. I've got a little um, embroidery sampler here that I've had for years and years and I still love it. It's super cute, nice little reference. So then, if I open up this side first of all, I've got um, some sewing labels. So I love adding little sewing labels to my sewing projects. I've got some here from Paige Joanna, Kylie and Machine and Little Rosy Cheeks. And then I've also got this one, this Dungas All Day one, which we gave away as a free gift with the first lot of people who ordered our Erin Dungarees sewing pattern. So maybe you've got one of these, super cute on the outside as well as the inside of your Dungas. Um, I've also got a patch here, Secret Pajamas Squad patch. So I don't know if anyone remembers this one. This was a free gift with pre-orders for my second book, Stretch. And it makes a really cute addition to the Stella hoodie. It's got various trims and things in here. This one you might recognise from the Martha dress. I had lots of fun playing around with the position of this one on a baby blue crepe. Absolutely adore that sample. Of course, got lots of buttons. People was coming up to us at shows and say, where are the buttons? I, I thought you were selling buttons and get really cross. <laughs> that we're a pattern company. Sorry about that. So what have I got in here? So we've got some wooden buttons. These are actually left over from the very first sample of the Matilda blouse, which was our very first sewing pattern 10 years ago. So if you've been following us for a long time, you might remember it's a button back blouse with tucks going down the front. And one of the first versions I made was in a lovely chambray with these wooden buttons down the back. Um, so when I first released our patterns, it was completely a side project. I had a day job, it was, I say us, it was just me, working from my flat in Brixton, evenings and weekends, around my full-time job. Um, I didn't know that this was going to become a business, didn't know this was going to become my life. Um, but I launched the first pattern and it was just a PDF download that you had to download directly from the blog, didn't even have an online shop. And it was the actual instructions that you got in the printout were very, very simple, paired back for people who just like to blast through the construction. And then there was a really, really in-depth sew along on the blog to go with that. Over time, of course, our instructions and our patterns have evolved. We now have um, more detailed instructions with the booklet that you get. They're available printed as well as PDF. Um, we have full colour photos in the booklet as well, so yeah, they have evolved over a lot over the last 10 years. And then this button, I don't know if anyone remembers this one, this one's left over from the Ariel skirt. So this was a, was, still is, a pencil skirt with, it's asymmetrical, so it's got a, um, a side front button down opening and we made one sample with these really cute little black button, black flower buttons and anytime we put that photo anywhere people go absolutely wild for it. So much so that we once got an email from someone saying that they'd seen the, the picture that we'd taken for our Ariel skirt sewing pattern used for, I think it was like a, to promote a band or something in, I think it was in Eastern Europe somewhere, I can't remember exactly where. Um, totally random on a wall. <laughs> so I could use this picture. 
Um, what else have we got in here? So, oh, we've got some dungaree buckles. Of course, these are from our Clio dungaree dress pattern, which is one of our most iconic patterns that we've released over the years. So, funny story. We we sell these on our online shop to go with the pattern. Um, in the early years after we launched the pattern, we would we would buy these in but uh, orders of, we'd buy 500 at a time because they were that popular and um, so much so that uh, we discovered at one point that we were directly responsible for a Europe-wide shortage of dungaree buckles. So thank you, Cleo, for that. Oh, I've got some leftover toggles from a duffel coat. So this is from the Eden raincoat and duffel coat. One of my favorite sewing patterns of all time that we've released. What we've got in the other side. So I've got various trims and things. So these are actually um, the little hangy ribbons that you get in ready to wear garments. I always cut them off and save them for stabilizing the shoulders if I make a jersey top. I love these rainbow ones in particular that I save for my kids' clothing. I've got some elastics in various sizes. We've got uh, quite a few patterns that call for waist elastic. I've got some shearing elastic here, which may be a sign of things to come. Indeed. I've got various marking tools, including these friction pens. So do you know about these friction pens? If you draw on fabric with these, you can put your markings and things on your fabric and then press it with an iron the markings will come straight off. They are absolutely amazing. I only learned about these recently, so it just goes to show that you just never stop learning. And then, of course, I've got some Dressmakers Carbon, some huge advocate of Dressmakers Carbon to use to mark your fabric or to trace up your patterns without having to cut the paper. I hope you enjoyed that nosy into my sewing box and little trip down memory lane. Thank you so much for supporting us, whether you have been a long-term follower and got the very first sewing pattern that we released 10 years ago, or whether you've only discovered us recently, we really appreciate you. Happy sewing!